Hey everybody, it's Casey here, and I'm going to show you um, how we've packed this um, antique bolt bin. And this bolt bin, I paid at an auction for it like $275. It sold on Etsy for $1,895. Louie thought I was a little crazy. Um, he's like, why are you spending that much on that piece? But I know that pieces like that, you know, that people there are people out there who really like and collect those types of primitive pieces and so I thought it was a good investment and it paid off here is how they are packed it they um you'll get to see more because they're going to do a hutch top after this but this was blanket wrapped and then they went around it or I'm sorry it was bubble wrapped and this particular piece normally we would blanket wrap but this there's no paint to chip it's already a very rustic piece um we decided it's very lightweight there was really nothing to get damaged it was like wood and old metal and so what we did on this one um is they just bubble wrapped it and then they shrink wrapped it and that's going to be just the end on how they packaged this one so i was telling you that this sold on Etsy for $1,875. And then um, I had paid $275 for it. It cost, I want to say it cost like $375 to ship um, from near Branson, Missouri to Pennsylvania. So this really turned out to be a piece that had a great profit because there was no work put into it other than just staging it. And it took about two months for it to sell, maybe two and a half months. I had it listed in my shop for $550. I didn't think, you know, it would sell at that price. That's, you know, just where I'm at. People do not pay a lot of money for furniture. And that's why I end up selling on Etsy in the first place is people just do not shell out in my rural area in the Ozarks very much money for furniture but I thought it would do well on Etsy and it did and so they're finishing up this is my husband Louie and my daughter Adrian who are packing it they're finishing up this bolt bin and it didn't get a blanket I think it's the first piece we packed that didn't get a blanket and like I said that's because it's really we're not too worried about this piece like getting damaged or anything there's no paint to scratch up it's a really sturdy solid little piece and now comes this top to a hutch at the end of the video you'll get to see all of the pieces um that are going out this truck on this particular shipment I think there's like five pieces that are being shipped out and so this was definitely like a half a day for us in packing furniture to get it ready. Um, we have this on a dolly and whenever you're like a, just a flat board with caster wheels, whenever you're packing something, if you have the ability to put it on a dolly, it really helps a, a ton to be able to do this. So they are starting by bubble wrapping this. They're using um, commercial grade bubble wrap. You want the larger bubbles, you know, to that's the kind that you want whenever possible. It just has more bounce back. And I, I believe a little more protection than the smaller, thinner um, bubble wrap. So I buy these wraps at $20 a piece at Lowe's. Um, and I just usually, sometimes when I make a trip to Lowe's, I'll just stock up on them and get like four because I know I'll be using them in the next couple of months or so. Now, if you ever find whether you're doing a painted piece of furniture or, you know, something that it's hard to find a place, you know, to, to get your, to tape your bubble wrap to, you can always shrink wrap your furniture first and then you have something to tape your bubble wrap to. You can tape it to that shrink wrap. So if you have a painted piece, um, we've started doing that a lot with our painted pieces because we'll find that 
when we just tape the bubble, like wrap the bubble wrap around and just tape it to itself, you know, it can start to fall down some. And so to avoid that, but non shrink wrap first, if you have a painted piece, that can help it not to fall down. That is just a, a switch that we have made in how we pack oh, in the past couple of months. But one of the things that you want to keep in mind is your shippers may not know while they could see a picture, you could send them a picture of what you're packing. Um, they may not realize or remember or whenever, if there are several pieces on their truck, you on their truck or their trailer, they may forget or not even know that your piece is like full of glass. And they may realize like, okay, this is a glass hutch, but on this one, the sides are also glass. And most hutches, you know, many of them, the sides are wood and not glass. And so, you know, you want to make sure that you, like, put, you know, take some paper, like a paper sign, you make a sign, like some copy paper or something, and tape it to your piece, like, after it's fully packed and say, this, this front is all glass tape it to each side like this side you know all the way down from top to bottom on the side is all glass so they know you know like they may like push it up against another piece of furniture or something and if it gets pushed up against a piece of wood I mean you know you could have some glass damage there but if they know that since you got to remember like your shippers like they can't see if you, you pack it and I recommend that you do they cannot see, you know, where what is glass or where there's a more delicate part. And so you want to mark that with some paper signs that are taped on onto your piece of furniture after it's packed. Another thing, and so Louie, really quickly, Louie is, he really, um, on the, when it comes to blanket wrapping, the best way I could describe it is he'll blanket wrap it like a present so corners and sides are tucked and folded in and just the way you would wrap a present it's really pretty nice and neat and what that does is it makes it possible to shrink wrap will go on after this for the shrink wrap to go on nice and smooth and it really helps to keep everything in place and so you definitely want to if you're starting to ship furniture wanting to make sure you have plenty of um, packing tape on hand. You want to make sure you have shrink wrap on hand. Just, you know, keep your blankets on hand. We order blankets um, in bulk from Amazon. And if you're just starting out and you're shipping, you know, one or two pieces here and there, you may not want to order in bulk yet. It is cheaper to do that but you just may want to order a few at a time or go to Harbor Freight and pick some up a few at a time. People ask us, um, do you get your blankets back? So sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Uh, one of it we use a couple of our regular shippers. They will, when they deliver the keys, they'll keep the blankets and next time they come back, um, they'll bring our blankets back to us. But if we're using a shipper from New Ship who is not coming back our way after the delivery, then we do not get the blankets back. <clears throat> the blankets um, cost a few dollars a piece. It could cost anywhere from four to seven, eight dollars a piece. And I factor all of my packing supplies, including the blankets, into the cost of the item. And so, like, the, I factor that all either into the shipping cost or, you know, individual, um, packing supplies cost and so just keep that in mind like I'm okay like this hutch I paid um, I think I paid like 250 for this hutch and it sold for uh, $2250 or $2300 something like that it might have even been $2400 it's been a few months so I can't remember exactly what it sold for and so let's say it sold for $2,300. I paid $2,50 for it. It cost me $750 to ship from Missouri to New Hampshire. 
and the customer was extremely happy with it. But that's a good profit. All I did, it was such a classic, beautiful piece on its own. All I did was go ahead and stage it. And so, and then it sold in like a month, month and a half, something like that. So on this shipment, here is a bed a customer had sent to us. We repainted a custom order hutch. And you'll see a few other pieces that was going out. I think we had like five, five pieces total. This was a custom order armoire. And this was like a full packing day for us, packing all these items to have them ship, shipped out. And of course, the bolt bin was the first thing. And here was the hutch that I had purchased and staged and resold. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. And as always, feel free to ask questions. I'm here to help you out and answer them as much as possible.